Hey guys, so today I have swatches of the OPI Hello Kitty collection. There are 12 polishes in this collection. I got these from btysales.com, I think. I'll link the website down below. Um, this video did take me a little while to get up. There was an issue with my order twice. I had the wrong polishes and then the replacement polishes, there was one wrong polish in there. And then when I sent the replacement ones back, I sent back one that I needed and kept one that I didn't need, which that one was totally on me. Um, so it took me a while to have the full set. So now I have the full set of the OPI Hello Kitty collection. And I will say the customer service was pretty good. She did take care of it and fix it all up for me and everything. So I will link the website down below where I found these and I will get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Let's Be Friends, and this is a very light, almost white pink. The camera is washing it out just a little bit. That's a bit more pink in person than it's showing. Here it is next to Mod About You, which is also washing out a little bit on camera, but it is slightly less pink than Mod About You. So here's one coat. This one is a bit streaky on the first coat and a little bit sheer. Formula is actually pretty good. It's a little bit on the thin side, but it doesn't feel like it wants to run down the sides of my nail or anything like that. So here's two coats. This one covers better on the second coat, but it is still a little bit streaky, so I am going to do three to try to even it out. It does dry very shiny though. So here's three coats. So this one covers almost evenly in three coats. It's not quite there. That will depend on your application though, but for me I kind of top out at three coats four swatches, so this one could potentially need four. So there is three coats of Let's Be Friends. And the next polish is Small Plus Cute Equals Heart. And this is kind of like a peachy pink color. Again, it's a little bit um, faded, I guess, on camera. It's a little bit washed out on camera. So here's one coat. This one is a bit sheer and a little bit streaky on the first coat. Good formula though, again a little bit on the thin side, but not so thin that it wants to run or pool anywhere. So here's two coats. This one is still considerably streaky on the second coat. This does also dry very shiny, just like the last one. So here's three coats. This one is almost completely opaque in three coats. It's not quite there. This is another one that would probably end up needing a fourth. There are still some streaks. So there is three coats of small plus cute equals heart. The next polish is Look at My Bow, and this is a bubblegum pink. The closest OPI I had to this was Susie Shops and Island Hops from the Hawaii collection last year. Couldn't remember it. And this is obviously a lot more muted, not that bright kind of bubblegum pink color. So here's one coat. This one is a bit streaky on the first coat. It does cover better than the last one though. Same formula, a little bit on the thin side, but very easy to control. And keep in mind, I do tend to prefer thicker formulas too. So here's two coats. This one is still just a little bit streaky for me on the second coat, so I'm gonna do a third. Just barely though, if you're not super picky, you could probably get away with two. So here's three coats. This one covers completely in three, but like I said, it was really close in two. I think if you're not picky, you'd be fine with two coats. This one also dries very shiny. So there is three coats of Look at My Bow. The next polish is My Twin Mimi, and this is a bright yellow cream. Here it is next to I Just Can't Copacabana from the Brazil collection, I believe. You can see that it's a little bit lighter. Close, but it's not an exact dupe. So here's one coat. And this one is pretty streaky on the first coat. That's not unusual for a yellow though. Formula is good, just like the last couple. A little bit on the thinner side for me, but still easy to control. So here's two coats. So this one is still a tiny bit streaky on two. It's not terrible. It's another one that I think if you weren't really picky, you could probably get away with two, but I'm going to do three. And like the others, this one also dries very shiny. So here's three coats. And this one covers completely in three, but like I said, it was really close at two. And again, good formula on these. So there is three coats of My Twin Mimi. So the next polish is called Super Cute in Pink, and this is a lighter kind of pinky purple. So here is one coat. This one is pretty sheer. It's very almost jelly-like. Formula on this one is good, smooth, easy to apply, and it does feel like it's a little bit less on the thin side for me than the first few. So here is two coats. This one actually built up a lot better than I expected in two coats, considering how sheer the first coat was. 
I can still see my nail line though, so I'm gonna do a third. This one also dries very shiny. So here's three coats, and this one covers completely in three. Again, very shiny. So there is three coats of super cute in pink. And the next polish is called Kitty White, and this is a pearly white. So here is one coat. This one is pretty sheer on the first coat, but it does have a lot of sparkle. Formula is good on this one, smooth, easy to apply. So here is two coats. So this one is starting to build up on two, but it is still a bit sheer. You can wear this one also with one coat as a topper, and I do have a picture of that that I'll put at the end here. So here's three coats. So you can still see the nail line pretty well, actually, in this one with three. So I would suggest it as a topper, but I did want to show it on its own. And those sparkles that are in there can kind of get everywhere when you remove it. So there is three coats of Kitty White. The next polish is called Spoken from the Heart, and this is a hotter pink. So here's one coat. This one covers really well on the first coat, just a little bit of streaking and a tiny bit of my nail line showing through. Formula is great on this one, feels like most of the rest of the collection, a little bit on the thin side for me, but still easy to use. So here is two coats. This one covers completely on two, but I think depending on your application, you might end up needing three. This one also dries very shiny. So there is two coats of Spoken from the Heart. The next polish is called Charmy and Sugar, and, and this is like a pinky purple iridescent base. This has pink, blue, and I think like gold or silver, it's hard to tell, smaller hex glitters, and it also has a little bit of like a goldish green flash to it as well. So here's one coat. And this one is a bit sheer on the first coat, but you do get a lot of that glitter out and does distribute pretty evenly. Great formula on this one, doesn't want to run or pool anywhere. So here's two coats. So this one is really close to opaque on two coats. I can still see my nail line a little bit. You can use this one as a topper as well, and I'll have a picture of that. So here's three coats. This one covers completely in three. This will dry a bit uneven and gritty, though, because of that glitter. Not terrible, but a little bit. See, we'll want a top coat. So there is three coats of Charmian Sugar. next polish is called Five Apples Tall, and this is a slightly pinky red cream. So here's one coat. This one covers really well on the first coat, just a little bit of nail line that I can see. The formula on this one is fantastic as well. It's not on the thinner side like most of the other ones are, so it's just perfect for me. So here's two coats, and this one covers completely on two. This one is also super shiny when it dries. So there is two coats of Five Apples Tall. The next polish is called Starry Eyed for Dear Daniel, and this is a pink jelly base with a bunch of what I believe is pink, and there might be a little bit of holographic micro glitter mixed in. So here's one coat. This one covers okay on the first coat. It certainly covers even, but it is still a bit sheer. Great formula, though. So here's two coats. This one actually builds up to cover completely in two, which I wasn't expecting. This is a micro glitter, so it will dry gritty. You'll definitely want a top coat, and it's probably going to be a little bit difficult to remove as well. So there is two coats of Starry Eyed for Dear Daniel. So the next polish is called My Pal Joey, and this is a medium blue cream. So here's one coat. This one covers really well on the first coat. It's just a little bit uneven still, so I'm going to do a second. Fantastic formula on this one. So here's two coats. And this one is completely opaque in two. It was nearly opaque in one. This one doesn't seem to dry as shiny as the other ones. It's not dull, it's just not super shiny. So there is two coats of My Pal Joey. And the last polish is called Never Have Too Many Friends, and this is just a standard black cream. So here's one coat. This one covers really well on the first coat, just a little bit uneven, so I'm going to do a second. Great formula on this one, smooth, easy to apply. This one feels like it might be a little bit on the thinner side like a lot of the other ones were. So here's two coats, and this one covers completely in two. Nothing too special about this, it's just a black. I would assume it's an exact dupe for any other black. So there is two coats of Never Have Too Many Friends. So of course my favorite is going to be the blue. Um, there are a lot of pinks in this collection. I did really like a lot of the pinks, um, a lot of the lighter baby pinks. Those are like my kind of pink. 
Um, but of course I really like the blue because it is a very bright kind of like electric blue color. Um, my Pal Joey is the name of that one, so this one is my favorite. So that is the OPI Hello Kitty collection. I, again, I'll link the website down below where I got those. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.